You ready? Okay, I would like to send a message out after listening to Scott Cheever's video he put out with the assistance of my wife. He spoke about his circumstances in his prison where he's being locked down in an endless cycle. And he spoke about the prisoners uniting to bring light to the underground policies correctional officers have implemented with impunity in many prisons across the nation. So I want to give, give Scott a shout out and to re-emphasize on his message. My name is uh, Scott Cheever. I'm from Kansas. I've been in solitary confinement for 16 years now on death row. I encourage any prisoner across the nation to contact my wife if they have any ideas how we could go about starting some kind of grassroots organization to change things for the better for all prisoners. Or having one of their friends or relatives reach out on their behalf. If anyone would like to share any information to shed light on whatever they feel is relevant, to open people's eyes to what's going on in prison shadows for way, way too long. If prisoners, if prisoners reach out to leave a message, we can find some legal support from communities to begin a foundation to elect a nationwide oversight committee to start holding these correctional officers accountable for the constitutional violations they're committing on a daily basis to prisoners across the nation. To help, legal-wise, to help the prisoners fight these underground arbitrary policies these prisoners, uh, these, these, uh, these guards are doing, well, there'll be some oversight because they're doing these things and what's happening is there's no repercussions behind it because all they're doing is using the taxpayers' money to pay for their lawsuits and that. So, and then the, 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 the status quo keeps on going. They, there's nothing changes. If they just get, anytime anybody files a lawsuit for years of violation, they just use the taxpayers' money and pay it. And there's no repercussions. So that's the main thing is that we need to bring this to light so, that, so there's some kind of repercussions there's consequences for these violations that they're doing in prison. I've spent over about 6,000 days in solitary confinement now, and that's illegal. They can't do it. If we don't do nothing about it, they're going to keep doing it. Well, yeah, I think there's a lot of things that the public doesn't know what's going on inside these prisons that are under, they're, they're called underground rules, underground policies, where they're just, they're, they're doing these things because there's no consequences to their actions, and I think that's what the public doesn't know. That any time that they violate people's constitutional rights, they have to go through the law, they file lawsuits, of course, and that, you know, it takes two or three years to go through that. And that, but when it's all said and done, they just use the taxpayer's money and pay the prisoner off. And nobody actually is, is, is uh, punished for whatever violations that, they, uh, that occurred percent false and you can see it in the video as we continue you can you can see that when he fired at him he was right up against the door so I think that once the public once we could get word out there that there is no oversight in prison that's the thing there's there's they're like they're truly above the law because there's no civilian oversight and they won't even let the, the inspector general sometimes to, in, in to inspect the prison to talk to prisoners. They'll block them even. You're nobody that I would have to answer to. Hey, wait, right now. Right, right now, I don't need. I don't need. You, you guys can go back in your car. No, we're on public highway, so I'll shut up. No, I don't know you, so I don't have to. I don't feel like I should have to answer you for any reason. I know. I know you're used to if people. If I'm an asshole, then we're gonna have issues. What'd you say? What? Uh, what, what issue? What issue? Why? Legal issues, legal issues, or your, or your personal emotional issues. I'm asking you. Legal issues. What is your name and badge number? Since you want to be so cocky, what's your name and badge number? Name is right here. I'm and you're a cor you're a correction re correction officer. Yeah. yeah. No jurisdiction on public property. Okay. You know, Scott Jones is doing the same thing to me. <laughs> I told you they had that. Did I tell you about the article that came out in the legal news? Hey, yeah. He had 390. He's been a elected like sheriff since 2010, and they said in this article that, I mean, well, they tore his ass up. He had 399 lawsuits since he'd been in office, and they, and their taxpayers paid tens of millions of dollars on those lawsuits. And now he got 402, because two code of mine filed, and I guess, so now he got 403, 402 lawsuits. They, they get ready to get paid some more. But like I told you, and I put out on that thing, that's the whole thing. That's why they're, they're, they're above the law, because nothing happens to them. 
Now, if that money was coming out of their ass, out of their paycheck, it would be different. But the taxpayers pay it, and there's no no charges to them, no reprimand, no deduction in pay or nothing. But I bet you, you know, the average person don't even know that on the street. So we need to start some kind of foundation or some kind of committee, you know, across the country with the prisoners and their family members that could contact my wife through her channel and that, you know, we can start some kind of um, foundation for prisoners and their family members that we could bring light to these, these the underground policies that they're using in these prisons to lock prisoners up uh, for decades inside these uh, shoes like Scott Cheevers in Kansas. This ain't just coming from me and my buddies. This is all across the nation. We're trying to do this. It don't matter what race you are, what crew. We need to all come together for positive. And uh, we all come together. There's nothing they can do. Uh, I think it's a good idea that all the prisoners across the country should come together. Anybody that wants to put a message out about unity and trying to get back you know, our rights from prison, that they slowly took over the years, over the decades, that if all these prisoners have um, something to say that could benefit other prisoners anywhere, they need to get at my wife, and she could help her put out a video, and we just put this message together about everybody coming together. And even if we get uh, attorneys or somebody on the street that want to help us out, and, you know, not, not for no revolution, but, everybody coming together just to get back what we got coming in prison that they've taken over the years. All prison is uniting to bring light to the underground policies correctional officers have implemented with impunity in many prisons across the nation. So I encourage any prisoners that if they have any ideas how we could go about and change things to help each other uh, to get at my wife on her YouTube channel with any, any kind of positive ideas and we can see, we can start some kind of grassroots organization uh, to fix things and change things for the better. If all prisoners of all races come together in solidarity as we did in California to change the laws in this state, just imagine what we could achieve nationwide. I'm out. I gotta go. That's why, that's why I, got, I gotta go. I gotta go. Hey. The people that are here for drug charges or gun charges, that's obviously unconstitutional. The second member right here says the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So any single person that's here on any gun car charge, and you notice they don't go into the rich white neighborhoods and, and worry about those people, but any person here that's on a weed, drug, or gun charge should be let out if you truly honor your oath to the Constitution.